Palestinian militants have fired more than a thousand rockets at Israel, most landing in civilian areas. And Israel has retaliated with scores of airstrikes over the Gaza Strip. Israeli jets dropped two bombs on this building that housed militant Hamas offices in Gaza. Israel claims to have killed a top commander and 15 members of the militant group in airstrikes. Incomplete reports indicate at least 65 Palestinians have been killed, including 14 children. At least seven Israelis, including a six-year-old child, are among the casualties of this latest conflict. This is the most intense hostilities in seven years in the region. Prime Minister Netanyahu reportedly is calling out 5,000 Israeli troops, vowing to stop what he calls the anarchy with an iron fist if necessary. While many diplomats fear the current situation could escalate into an all-out war, President Biden sounded a bit more optimistic after speaking to the Israeli Prime Minister. My expectation and hope is that uh, uh, this will be uh, closing down sooner than later. But uh, Israel has a right to defend itself when you have thousands of rockets flying into your territory. The latest encounter between Israelis and Palestinians has triggered angry protests, like this one at the Israeli embassy in Jordan. More than a thousand demonstrators shouting anti-Israeli slogans. A different message in Times Square as hundreds staged a rally in support of Israel, with many noting that this latest conflict was started by the Palestinians and their indiscriminately lobbing of rockets into the Jewish nation. As an American and as a Jew, we don't stand for this. We support Israel. We don't condemn, we don't condone the killing of any innocent people, but Israel has to defend itself. Diplomats at the United Nations condemn the outbreak of new fighting. We urgently call upon all actors to de-escalate tensions, end violence, and show the utmost restraint. But the 15-member Security Council has failed to achieve anything. They did hold an emergency session without adopting a joint statement aimed at reducing the tension. Now, the United States was the only member of the 15-nation uh, Security Council that refused to sign the statement that called on Israel to cease all its dealings with those controversial settlements. The U.S. delegate said that was nothing that would help to curb the current violence. We're live at the United Nations. Marvin Scott, Pix 11 News.